data analysis, the job everyone is talking about, but can only be rainbows and sunshine. Being a data analyst is not a job for everybody. And today we're gonna share some of the things they don't tell you about working as a data analyst. You not only need excellent communication skills, but also great deductive and understanding skills. When interacting with stakeholders or clients, they usually have an idea of the issue they want you to address, but can be unsure about how to present it and therefore can be unclear about what they need from you. So it's gonna be up to you to ask the right questions to understand what they truly need from their request. Once you have the insights required, you also have to make it understandable for them and clarify what the data you collected means for the company. It might even get frustrating, but trust me, you'll get better over time. You'll spend a lot of time cleaning data. In order to get valuable results and insights, you need to gather clean and good quality data. But sometimes this process can get on your nerves and you just need to be ready for it. You'll always have to look for a balance between speed and accuracy for meaningful insights. While there may be times when you feel like you need to complete a project as fast as possible, it won't be helpful if the insights and conclusions you come up with are inaccurate or inconsistent with reality. There won't be a point when you can stop learning. New tools, techniques, technologies, and such are constantly being released. And the only way to ensure your productivity and proficiency is by staying updated with the information and about how the data analytics world is constantly evolving. You'll have to face the fact that sometimes you won't have a clear cut answer. Every so often there will be times when ambiguity is the only thing you find. When that happens, you'll either have to make assumptions or be clear on whether the data is inconclusive to help the decision makers have the most transparent picture possible. In some cases, the databases you'll be working with won't be well documented. This means you won't have much context on it and you'll probably have to decipher it as you go. Someone in the company might know a bit of it, but most of that discovery is gonna be on you. You may think that data analysis is a solo job, but in reality, you'll usually be working with a team. Not only that, but you also have to constantly interact with other professionals from the company that can help you with the specific project, whether it's for crucial information or for feedback and opinions to better understand the issue at hand. A single error could cost millions of dollars. So be sure to triple check that nothing looks off and everything makes sense. That way you can avoid mistakes at all costs. Yes, you'll be using SQL, Python, and Tableau, but there's a high chance you'll also be using Excel a lot. This will depend on how data-driven your company already is. There are still many places that aren't as familiarized with the new tools that are more efficient and faster than Excel or Google Sheets, but it is what it is. So you're gonna have to be friends with Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets too. You will need a high frustration tolerance. In this field, it is common to stumble across dead ends or get stuck without knowing how to approach a specific problem. There will be many opportunities to get frustrated. So you must excel at being tolerant and keep your patience so it doesn't affect your performance. For this job, you need a good work-life balance. As a data analyst, your job is to solve problems. While this job might not have you doing much overtime, there is a high chance that you'll be thinking about your current project when you're not working. And that can be mentally exhausting and can even lead to burnout. So implement strategies to avoid thinking about work when you're outside of it and you'll be good. Now that you know some of the things they don't usually tell you about being a data analyst, you can be more aware of what's ahead of you if you choose this career. If you feel like most of these issues won't be a big problem to you or you're excited about becoming a data analyst, you can check out our data analytics program. This program is designed to give you all the flexibility you need to keep your everyday life while still seeing results and being job ready once you finish it. By the end of the course, you will have worked on around 12 real life data analytics projects reviewed by a senior data analyst. If you wanna know more, click the link in the description and start your data analytics journey today. I hope this video helped you have a broader look at the job of a data analyst. If you like this video, let us know by leaving a thumbs up and subscribing for more data, tech, and productivity content each week. Thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.